Hello and welcome back to Plants and Light, episode 9. Let's jump back straight into the game. And below 75 health, 75% health. That's not so great. But uh, otherwise, we're doing alright, I think. And if we have a look here, on our next sector on the map is the final last stand sector. This is where the Federation fleet is. And as soon as we make this jump, we're going to basically be in, well, the last stretch of the race, I guess you could say. Uh, you won't immediately be facing a boss, but uh, you will be in the boss's arena. So just to make sure everyone is at full health. All the systems are repaired. And, yeah, I don't think we can do much more other than feel nervous, which I do. So let's go ahead and jump in. The last stand. Federation base in range, achievement unlock. You arrive at the heart of the last Federation fleet. Your access codes get you past the initial security and a direct feed to the capital ship's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? We explain our mission. Your explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief among the officers. General Turzel of the Engie Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. Indeed, General Turzel, indeed. Now, we get to explain the weakness of the enemy fleet, the Rebel flagship. Tully responds, it's settled. The Rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do what we can to hold off their warships, but you must succeed in destroying the flagship. We will refuel your ship now, and our stations will offer you help wherever possible. Good luck. Ooh, ten fuel. Well, I should keep that in mind the next time I play. I don't really need a lot of fuel by the time I get here, because I'll get 10 fuel just from getting it. That's pretty cool. Good to know for future playthroughs. Let's continue. Now, as we can see, the Federation ships in the background. Not very many of them. I hope this isn't all that's left of the fleet. But, uh, nice new music in the background. A little bit of a beat. Let's go ahead and jump. Right. At the top, you'll notice jumps until the flagship is in range. That's quite important. We've got to destroy the Rebel flagship before it gets in range of the Federation base. If it gets too close, there will be no stopping it, and all will be lost. So engage it quickly. Right, I'm guessing this is the flagship. The locations flashing red will be fully under Rebel control after you jump or wait. Repair stations will provide partial repair for free. Oh, that's quite cool. So this is the base, right? So this guy is going to be in range in five jumps. So, hmm, we've got to get to him. That's one, two, three... Or five or one two three four I'm not sure what this line is perhaps this is where the rebel ship is headed I wouldn't really make much sense because he's moving further away but uh, let's get to it then we don't have time to investigate really we just need to make a beeline straight to the ship so let's go ahead you detect a rebel scout on the attack approach to a small refueling outpost their weapons are charged but they're not firing yet we can intervene to defend the outpost or avoid conflict. Um, we're at full health. And, you know, these are our guys. These are the last best hope for humanity, uh, I'm assuming. Um, or uh, United Federation of Other Aliens. Because I think the NG are our allies. But, uh, yeah, let's just jump in and help. Uh, before we do, though, let's just double check what they've got. They've got three layers of shields. No boarding party, so that's great. Uh, drone control. The Rebel responds to your threat. I don't know who you are, but no one defies the Rebel fleet. They move into a gauge. We do, we have, and we will continue defying the Rebel fleet. They've got a defense drone. They've got an attack drone. Um, We'll get our attack drone out. They've got some missiles, actually. Hmm. Mm -mm. No, we'll, we'll take out our defense drone and we'll aim our bomb for their weapon systems. In fact, we'll fire everything at their weapon systems. That's what we're going to go for. Okay, we've lost door control. Um, Charlie, get in there and fix that. We've taken two points of hull damage. Their repair drone is out and about. Let's go ahead and teleport our crew into their helm. That should uh, prevent them from trying to dodge because they're not going to be able to operate the helm while we're there. 
Like we've done some decent damage to their weapon systems. Our crew is doing okay in the fight, but I want to get him out there quickly. All right, they're bailing. We've got one second left. Um, let's move our crew out of there and go for the drone room. Let's keep on the move, actually. Right. Let's get rid of them. Oh, well, not get rid of them, let's just get them out of there. Right, they were low on health, 23 and 17. Their med bay meant that they could respond well to the fight, so... That's why I bailed them out rather than just waiting. But there's no one on helm, so they shouldn't be able to dodge our blasts. But they are anyway. Damn it. Come on, let's keep their weapon system down. Right. Once these guys are healed, we'll get them back to the, the engine room, and we'll send them in again. Damn it. Okay, that's on fire again. So we're gonna teleport back into the helm. Do what we can. It may have been a mistake not to bring the um, defense drone online, actually. Um, we'll bring our small bomb on and we'll aim for their weapon systems. And in the meantime, we'll move these crew out to their drone room. Right, we're gonna pull our crew out again. Get them back to the med bay. Keep you in there. Man, they just teleported in. Right, we want to get that fixed. So, uh, extra, get in there and help with that. Bring all of our weapons online again. We need to fix that fire quickly before we lose that point. Ah, damn it. Drone's gone down. We may be able to bring it back online. We're just going to keep laying into their weapon system for now. Get in there and help. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. Alright. Get back to the... Right, Extra is actually taking a bit of damage from trying to deal with the fire, so we'll get him healed up. And even though we brought that back online, we have lost our beam drone, so we'll bring another beam drone online, I think. Extra back on weapons, so they charge a bit faster. And another bomb in that room. Okay, we shouldn't need any more bombs, I don't think. I hope, anyway. There we go. Right, the ship breaks apart and you quickly salvage what you can. Three fuel, one drone part, 67 scrap. Um, the outpost hails you. The pompous bastards expected free service just because they defeated the Federation. Take this for your help. Isn't this meant to be the Federation area? Shouldn't matter that they expected free help. They're rebels. You should have been fighting them. Right, we've got three fuel, 63 scrap on top. Not bad at all. Let's have a look at our ship. Let's go ahead and buy the last point in there. And... Uh, yeah, I'll put some extra salvage into the teleport, just so that we can bring our guys home faster. The remainder, I think, we'll put into... Our... Yeah, go on. Put it all in. There. We'll take one point of oxygen. So now we've got a dodge rate... Uh, an evade rate, sorry, of over half. So... That should make us a lot more survivable. Right. Jumps until the flagship is in range. Okay, still five, so it must be... Right, the flagship is now jumping. It's warning me. So it's going to jump down here. It has five jumps before it's in range. I see how that works out now. There's another store. Uh, doesn't matter. We can't really do anything with it. Let's go ahead and jump closer to the flagship. The civilian ship is broadcasting a request for assistance on a secure Federation channel. They are being harassed by rebel scouts. Will you respond? Ah, but see, this is the problem. Is we, we took a bit of hull damage in our last fight, but we can't turn down civilians. We move in to help. Move in to intercept. They've got... 
six, uh, five crew. Yeah, they've got a drone. All right, we're gonna bring up our defense drone this time. Yeah, and we'll just continue trying to take out their. We'll take out their shields first, actually. That'll be our primary this time. Right, okay, the shield system is already heavily damaged. That was actually a good call. And most of their crew are almost dead, in fact. Right, we'll go for their weapon systems now. We've ruined their shield, so we should be able to just take this out. Focus again on the shields just to make sure they don't bring it back up. Wow, we missed every shot from the burst laser. That was terrible firing extra. You must be nervous. It's understandable. I'm nervous too. There we go. We did that. I don't think we actually lost any hull. We got two fuel, two missiles, and 55 scrap. I think we used one bomb, so that's not bad. Um, we can contact the would-be victim. You received a message on the Encrypted Federation channel that says, Thanks for helping us, Captain. We're in the process of setting up another emergency repair station. Transmitting coordinates now. Oh, wow, that was cool. So, by doing that... Where is the repair station? I don't see it. Maybe this one? Maybe this one? I don't know. But we're going to jump to the store. We're going to go ahead and... Um, uh, repair our ship. Transmission for the nearby planet in the case the outpost below, which offers supplies to travelers. You send down an away party to check it out. Could buy cloaking, that would be fantastic to have, but we don't have enough. We need to fix that. Oh wow. That would be good. Alas, no. I can sell that. Buy some extra drone parts and missiles. Cool. Alright, let's make our way. Right, the flagship is jumping. We'll meet it at its destination. So let's jump into there. Now, here we are. This is it, the rebel flagship. If you are able to destroy this monstrosity, the Federation will have a chance at surviving. There's no turning back. What, oh, what do you mean, chance of surviving? We're doing all of this, and it's just going to give us a chance? I would I'd prefer to see, like, uh, yeah, you will win the war if you... Uh, oh, well, I suppose chance is better than nothing. But wow, look at the ship. Um, these are individual weapon systems. They seem to be tied to specific weapons. That's a beam laser of some sort. That's an ion laser. I think this is like a, a regular laser. And this is a missile launcher. I'm not sure about that, though, so don't quote me on it. But, yeah, you can see it's really heavily upgraded. It's got all sorts, so this is going to be a hard fight for us. So, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and power down... Med Bay. Um, I'll power down transport as well for the second. Um, they've got a lot of hull on that ship as well. Four shields to get through. We'll bring up. Uh, oh, pardon me. Hiccups again. Uh, we'll bring up both our defense laser and our beam laser. If we need the extra power in the teleporter room, um, I'll move Charlie over to oxygen actually. And that way. We'll have power in there, even if I power it down and put power into the transporter. Yeah, right, let's have a quick look at what they've got. Um, hmm. They've got drone control. They've got O2, medbay, teleporter. These crew don't seem to be able to get out of those rooms, so we could teleport into the room and kill them, and then pull back. That might be a good idea. We'll try and... Oh, well, I'll try and work out which weapons are what, because I don't want to commit crew to it if I'm not sure. In the meantime though, let's go ahead and bomb their shield room. And ion it as well. Which is very different from ironing their shield room. That wouldn't really do anything. Well, it might actually if you had a big enough iron, but... Uh, right, that looks like... Yeah, that's missiles. So we're going to go ahead and teleport into the missile room. And hopefully deal with that. Damn it. Right, extra. Quickly go and repair the drone room. Um, Let's get another bomb in the shield room. 
another ion blast, our burst laser, and our heavy laser. Come on, don't that. Oh, I've already lost one of our things. And that missile. Wow, that's doing a huge amount of damage, right? Swamps, get out of there. Go up to oxygen. We're gonna open these doors. Find that room. Um, swamps go on. Yeah, get on weapons. They're doing well in there. They're taking that system down. The bomb is about to launch. Let's get an ion blast as well. I think we missed, which is not good. Right, we've hit their sh shield room quite well. Let's pull these guys out and immediately get them up here where there's going to be oxygen. Right, okay. These rooms are, are vented enough. They're no longer launching missiles. Now that's amazing. As soon as we get an opportunity to, we're going to try and teleport back in and take out this room. Without anyone able to get there, I'm hoping that these systems are offline now. We'll go ahead and bomb that and ion it again. Right, extra, get back in med bay for a moment. Um, we'll shunt some power towards med bay. And swamps get up here. Right, close all the doors. Why am I leaving them open? Extra, get back here. Bomb is set to go off in there. Ion blast as well. <laughs> Right, we've seriously damaged that area. Get back to the transporter. Swamps get back on engines. Okay. That ion blast is really starting to annoy me. Ah, damn it. What we'll do is we'll teleport our dudes over and hit their ion weapons again, I think. Our beam drone is doing well, especially since they cannot get their shields back up. So it's going around starting fires. Let's go ahead and hit that system. Right, there we go. Taking out their um, missile system really helped. Just as you finally gain the upper hand, it finds a way to make an FTL jump. In its new state, it will have to get closer to the base to be, in, to be a threat. You've bought some time, but you've got to keep up the assault. One missile, one drone part, and 20 scrap. Uh, I don't think there's anything we can buy for 20 scrap. I really don't. Um, there's nothing really useful for 20 scrap anyway. Um, no, no there's not. Okay. Is everyone healed? Is everyone at full health? Yes, I believe they are. Okay, let's go ahead and jump. Right, it's jumping. It's heading here, and it's going to take four turns to do anything. So we'll jump back to the store. We'll heal up again, and then we'll jump back if we can. So, fix all. Um, buy more missiles. Right, okay. This is tense. Let's go. They're still there, so we can just jump in. Let's go. Orbiting Arrakis. You chased down the flagship and discovered it's heavily damaged from the previous fight. Scans indicated it has redirected considerable power to its drones. Get ready for a fight. Uh, that's quite cool. Right, so that we whole wing, that whole weapon system is gone. Now they're powering up their drones, though, so we need to prioritize taking that out. Um, mm, what are they going to do? Uh, let's go ahead and bring up our beam system. Oh, the pilot's gone as well. Let's go ahead and teleport in there. We'll try and take that out as quickly as we can. In the meanwhile, bomb their drone room. Actually, take those two off first. We'll, we'll time our attack. Ah, damn it. Yeah, they brought actual boarding drones. This will be hard. Let him work his way in there, and then we'll join in and fight him in that room. Not bomb. Firing everything at that one point. We weren't able to get through. Actually, I think it's taken him off. I think it has actually taken him offline. That's fantastic. Let's pull these guys out. Uh-oh. Power surge. What's happening? I don't like that. Uh, it doesn't tell me. Oh, it could be their super weapon, actually, thinking about it. 
That's not good. Uh, let's go for the shields with the bomb. Continue iron blasting. And as soon as this is up, we're going to teleport in and try and take out that drone room. Oh my god. That's not good at all. That is really not good. That's way too many drones for us to deal with. Just keep up these attacks. Right, okay. It looks like we've knocked out their drones. Um, have we... I don't know. I think I think we have, but they okay. They've damaged our drone room, but they haven't set it on fire. That's fine. We can deal with that. Their beam weapon won't be able to penetrate. Right. Okay. We need to get in there and sort this out right now. Get in there and sort right then. We'll bomb their shields in the meantime. We've done some damage. Um, okay. They're hurting. Let's get them out. Alright, let's teleport them back. If we can. There we go. Right, that's safe. Now, let's get these guys over here. Because I don't trust the pathing in this game at all. They probably walk straight through the oxygenless room and die. And let's just drop everything onto their drone room. We missed with the explosive, but that's fine. Let's get up there. Um, yeah, they've bailed from there. Let's keep up these attacks. Right, it doesn't look like the state of their actual drone room is a problem for their super weapon. Which, you know, makes it harder, I guess. Which is the object of uh, this mode, I suppose. Right, let's get in here. Right, we're going to get another blast from them, which I don't want. Right, I'm going to go ahead and teleport into their laser room, because it doesn't look like anyone can repair these systems, so it really doesn't matter. The drones are a problem, but as long as we can take out these weapon systems, then it doesn't look like they can really do much to us. That's excellent. We've actually done some decent damage to them there. Right. We'll go ahead and let them do their thing. Um, let's try and just take this system out. Pull them back. Send them up to the med bay. No. Yeah, I knew they were going to do that. They tried to go through that stupid room. Right, let's try and take out their... Uh, oh, wow, we're down to one missile. We really should have been paying attention to that. We're going to save that one for now, then. We'll have to make it count. Oh, damn it, I hit the wrong key. Sent the bomb into their shield room instead. Never mind. As long as our shield's down, we'll win. Right. Just as you finally gain the upper hand, it finds a way to make a faster than light jump. In its new state, it will have to get even closer to the base to be a threat. You bought some time, but we've got to keep up the assault. Three d fuel, one drone part, 19 scrap. Ooh, that was hard. Right, this is going to be difficult because there's a breach in that room. But go ahead, everyone jump in there and do what you can. Put some extra power into oxygen and into med bay because we're going to have lots of hurt people here. Because we've got to destroy this thing before we can start fixing the, the break. Alright, everyone get out. Yeah, that was good. Actually, we'll use our two NGs to repair this because they're going to have the fastest repair rate. There we go. All fixed. Well done. And it's already got oxygen. Um, let's actually get these two healed up and then they can go and fix that. Down there. Down there. Okay, we're going well. I, I've never actually used my teleporter offensively like this before in this particular fight, and I think I may have stumbled upon a really, um, I guess it's a bit cheesy, but a really effective way to neutralize the threat from the ship because the threat all comes from those massive super weapon, uh, massive like weapon clusters it has on the front. Let's go ahead and jump. Um, right, it's making a jump to the store. 
we're fine in terms of health. We have no missiles though. Well, may as well jump in. This will be the last fight, I suspect. Right, you're now you're not certain how it's able to keep fighting with this amount of damage it has sustained. It looks like it's transferred power to the teleporter as well. Some kind of super weapon. Be prepared. This is it. Okay. We'll, hmm, we'll bring our beam weapon online. And we're going to immediately teleport in and take out the... Oh, the super shields prevent it. Okay. Okay, I understand. We'll just plow everything into that then. Our beam drone is actually doing decent damage to it as well. As soon as that's down, we're going to teleport in. Ah, damn it. Right, okay, that's done. So, teleport in, take out their weapon system. Everything else, aim for the shield room. And what we've got to be wary of here is the super weapon, whatever that's going to be. Power surge. Oh, wow, well, that wasn't good. Let's just vent that room. Extra, get over there. No, actually, stay there. Oh, wow, well, this is the question what to do. Oh, my gosh. That could have been terribly bad. Okay, let's go for their shields again. Right, okay, we'll pull these guys back. And we'll just wait for the shield to charge, and then we're going to send them straight into that room. In the meantime, yeah, go and repair that for me. Let's go for their shields again. Having the high shields is really saving us right now, because that super weapon would probably have annihilated our ship otherwise. Though our evade is doing a really good job as well. Right, let's get that one to the teleporter. And get in there and take that out. Wow. Wow, that was amazing. They dodged all but one of the shots. That was money well spent in the engines there. That was absolutely amazing. Is that drone still up? No, our beam drone is down. We'll bring it back up. Um, someone just got a skill. Who was it? Arsene is now fully mastered in combat. He does 20% more damage, and Kozar equally fully mastered. Williams on shields, Swamps. Swamps is almost fully mastered on repairs. That says a lot about how much damage we've taken. Okay, let's carry on fighting. Soon, they're going to be completely at our mercy except for that super weapon. Right, okay, let's pull our guys back. Their shield is recharged. Has it been recharging the whole time? I didn't notice it if it did. But that isn't to say that it didn't happen. I can be a bit glitzy sometimes. Okay, incoming. And we dodged everything. Excellent. Right, we're going to go ahead and teleport into the helm and hopefully prevent them from dodging as much. Ooh, they just broke in. Those swines. Right, let's go ahead and just go for that. Our guy should easily win a fight. A straight fight anyway. Right, get out of there. Let them suffocate. Um, we'll put extra power into oxygen. We're going to get you out of it. Alright. How badly are they hurt? Can we pull them out? Yes, we can. Time to bail. Alright, you three. You two, rather. Oh, okay. Get in there. Swamps, you get up there as well. Let them suffocate. They will damage it, but we don't mind too much at the moment. There's no way they'll be able to beat these guys in this fight. As we can see there. Right, let's close all these doors. No need to have them open. Yeah, just finish him off. 
Cozy, I'll get back to the teleporter room. Arson, go get healed. Charlie, you get healed. Swamps get healed as well. Come on. Damn it, the shield came up before our beam drum could do any damage. Yeah, that loss of 10% of our evasion really hurt us when that super weapon fired. Right, Charlie, get back to O2. It appears the ship is also equipped with an advanced AI system. Now that the crew is dead, it has taken control. <laughs> oh man, I wasn't actually trying to, to wipe them out like that, but uh, yeah, that's pretty cool that they thought of that event. Um, oh well, that's, uh, we've taken out pretty much everything. In fact, our beam drone is going to win this fight for us. There we go. And I think that uh, fanfare means we've won. This will be my actual first win. Thanks to the valiant e efforts of EFZ Silence and his successful crew, Avak, Axel, Arson, Swamps, Williams, Kozar, and Charlie, we've unlocked a few things. The Rebels' flagship was destroyed, throwing their fleet into chaos and ensuring the Federation victory. A game from Subset Games, created by Matthew Davis and Justin Ma. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Music and sound by Ben Prunty, with writing from Tom Jubert. Additional testing by all of those people. I'm not going to read this out. And thanks to all of our extremely generous Kickstarter backers, with a very special thanks to, um, I guess, well, uh, maybe these are people who gave a certain amount of money, um, maybe the actual, uh, like, threshold for the game or something, I'm not sure, but, uh, that's a lot of people. Um, if you're expecting me not to let these credits roll, I'm afraid you are mistaken. I encourage you to, to wait this out and read all the possibly funny names. I haven't spotted any yet, but you might have. But uh, yeah, these people made this game possible and probably jumps, well, certainly brought Kickstarter into my sphere of awareness. Um, up until the success of FTL, I wasn't really aware of Kickstarter or what it could do. Chunkry Q Wigglesford. That is a fantastic name. Uh, let's have a look. Dan Kohalmi. No, that's actually a normal name. But uh, yeah, so these people all helped. And there's a lot of Davids and Daves. Wow. Seriously, Dave. Such a common name. I never knew. No, I did really, but there, there are quite a lot of Daves in this list. Um, Gabriel. Schnob. I hope that's a real name. Because... There should be more schnobs in the world, in my opinion. H2. Okay. Ice Storm. Idle Thumbs. Wow. Idle Thumbs helped to make this game. In fact, that's possibly true. Um, except for the space bar, you don't really use your thumb for much on the keyboard. Lots of Jasons. Jan Willem Van Vierman. That is an awesome name. Jerome Cheng. A Aylin. Aylin. Something like that. John Davis. Okay. John Dowling. Lots of Johns. A huge amount of Johns. And Jonathans. Jordan. Kichi. Awesome name. I like that a lot. Uh, Kirk. <laughs> of course. Uh, let's have a look. Any more? KXZ501. Clearly this Kickstarter was supported by cyborgs. Possibly an NG. They were in on it. All along. Luke Freya Kenyon. Thanks, guys. You're all really cool. I would have liked to have been as cool as you. However, I didn't know, like I said, about Kickstarter or Faster Than Light until it had already been a success and thus ended up in the news. But uh, for the record, um, my retroactive support heading your way. Not financial support. Just, just kind of like, you know, standing on the sidelines, cheering. Patrick Ten Ants Tenant. Ten Ants Tenant. There must be some interesting story between that name. Um, Rohan Ripper Carty. Uh, Ripper, kind of generic handle, really. Subwolf, kind of equally generic. I mean, you get a lot of people with those kinds of names on the internet. You need something pretty awesome to be unique these days. Seth7575.com <laughs> Not that you like to advertise much, but well done, Seth. I'll probably check that out later. Um, lots of Stevens. 
again, I guess that's a kind of common name, walks off. I imagine there's an interesting story behind that little nickname as well. Timothy the Unforgiven. See, I forgive you, Timothy, and thereby have ruined your nickname. Sorry about that. Victor Creso Olmec. Vec. Okay. Oh, there's only like three Z's. But there is one Zachary, and that makes the Z's all awesome. The Z's, rather. I apologize. FTL uses the following third party libraries. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to read these, they're moving too fast. Um, but you can pause this and check it out. Half Life 1 and 2 fonts used with permission from freakyfonts.de. Well, there we have it. The game has been completed. On normal. The first completion and the first getting to the end sector in normal for me. Congratulations, you defeated the rebel flagship and ensured the victory of the Federation over the rebels. Score 4 5 4 2. Let's check out our stats. Victory. New. Yay. And those are my, my test games. I didn't even. <laughs> that was atrocious, honestly. I basically died in the first fight. It was terrible. But session records. We defeated the most number of ships at 36. We explored the most beacons at 99. One shot of 100. That's terrible. You know, it wouldn't have been so bad if we'd, like, visited 90, but to visit 99 just draws attention to the fact that it wasn't 100. Most scrap collected, we scrap. Wow, we collected 1,924 scrap. We hired 8 crew, though we finished on 7, because Kirby was a traitor. Most repairs? Swampson. <laughs> Swampson. Okay, he wasn't in this because it's not yellow, but clearly Swampson is in some way related to swamps. I wonder how close Swamps was. Oh well. Most skills mastered was also Swampson. But most combat kills, arson 13. You bloody... Wow. Just... Wow. That was awesome, arson. You personally tore apart 13 people in your bloodthirsty quest for revenge for Kirby. Well, actually, even before then, probably. No, I, no you probably did most of that afterwards, so... Clearly you're just getting the frustration back out of your system. Most piloted evasions, AVAC, 347, and most jumps survived, AVAC. But really, everyone but Kirby survived that many, so... Don't worry, guys. I mean, the captain's the one that's always going to get the attention. It's just the way it is, but we appreciate you as well. Um, Ships defeated, 36. Um, beacons explored, 99. Scrap leather, kill hired. Final score, yay. Achievements. Right, we unlocked. Just getting started. Actually, yeah, I got there before, had I? Sometime? Oh, okay. Anyway, we unlocked this one, Federation Base in Range. We unlocked Federation Victory. Easy. Oh, cool. I was wondering if that would happen, whether completing it on normal would also give me the achievement for completing it on easy, and apparently it does. And I just remembered, we definitely did do this. On this profile, this is the first time we unlocked it in this particular playthrough, because it brought up the achievement. So it must just be that I've closed the game since then. Why the other one, General Progression? Your own fleet. Unlock every playable ship. And rule 10. Greed is eternal. Collect 10,000 scraps across all games. I wonder if that is the Ferengi rule 10. I wouldn't be too surprised. Warlord. Defeat 1,000 ships across all playthroughs. I'm not going to read them all. But, uh, yeah. So, let's go to the hangar. Now, we actually haven't unlocked any of these. That's That's kind of sad. But let's check out the ship list. We've unlocked four, well, three ships. We've got the engine cruiser. Although it may look like a pile of junk loosely held together, this well-designed ship relies on drones and ion weaponry. Uh, the Federation cruiser. This ship features the latest in Federation technology, an advanced beam weapon that pierces through shield. And here, the Zoltan cruiser. The Zoltan's advanced shield technology gives the ship an edge during each battle. And there's uh, an unidentified cruiser, slug cruiser, mantis cruiser, stealth cruiser, rock cruiser. I have unlocked the stealth cruiser in uh, the games that I played prior to um, clearing my profile. So I know how to do that, um, but I've never used the ship. So when I do unlock it, it'll be quite cool. So yeah, let's just check out what each one looks like. And this is the engine cruiser. And surprisingly, there's two engines on board to start with. <laughs> Notch. There you are. Um, I forgot to check if Notch was on the list of credits. I'm sure he was. Federation Cruiser. Ooh. It's like, uh... Um... Oh, each time we upgrade this, it 
Okay, does it fire automatically? More power means faster cooldown. I don't know, maybe you can aim it, maybe you can't. But it has an additional weapon system. That's quite cool. And only starts with a burst laser. Actually, the these guys start with a Ion Blast 2 and an anti-ship drone. That's pretty cool. The Zoltan. Only Zoltans on the ship. And another notch. They start with a Halberd Beam. Which I am told from my good friend Tommy Two Shoes is amazing. And Leto. The Leto missiles. This launcher is outdated and weak, but can still be effective. Oh, okay. Nothing to be too happy about. Zoltan Shield. An unexplained technology creates this nearly impenetrable shield. Only the energy outburst from an FTL engine is powerful enough to recharge it. Oh, right, so each time we jump, this shield would come back online. It's probably that green, like, shield that can protect against missiles and, and things like that right at the beginning. Um, let me just check. No organs. An energy medbot, uh, medbot dispersal. So, yeah, there we have it. Um, this isn't going to be the last in this playlist. Um, I'll probably still uh, release videos daily, as I have been doing. Just trying out the new ships, but uh, I'm very, very pleased that I was able to defeat it on the first try. Uh, well, the first time we got to the end sector in normal. That was really, really cool. And clearly teleporters for the win. Just uh, you know, my little tip to you all. But uh, I'm glad uh, that that's over, honestly, because I was getting really stressed <laughs> during that fight. It probably didn't sound it, but I was quite nervous. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed Hope to see you on the next run through the game, which, again, as I say, will probably be tomorrow. Um, I am going to be looking at other games to let's play as well, so you may start seeing two updates from me a day. Um, who knows? But uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Take care.